okay welcome back so could now again we discuss about the advantages of sped spectrum now crosstalk elimination you can eliminate the crosstalk better output with data integrity <coughs> reduced effect of multipath fading better security reduction in noise coexistence with other systems longer operative distances hard to detect not easy to demodulate or decode and difficult to jam the signal so these are the advantages of the spread spectrum so today we are going to discuss about the cellular system this is a new concept of the cellular uh, in the mobile communication so cellular network is a radio network made of number of radio cells and is served by a fixed transmitter known as cell site or base station these cells are used to cover different areas in order to provide radio coverage over wide area network with following advantages right so in the cellular system each transmitter typically called a base station covers a certain area which is known as the cell and cell radius can vary from tens of meters in buildings and hundreds of meters in cities up to uh, tens of kilometers in the countryside the shape of cells are never perfect circles or hexagons but depend on the environment that means you can say environment means building or mountain or valley extra when uh, weather condition and as another factor and also you can say sometimes even on system load typically systems using this approach are mobile telecommunication systems whether a mobile station within the cell around a base station communication with this base station and vice versa so in a particular cell there is a mobile station which make the link with the base station for communication which is used for communication within the cell so that is the advantage what is the advantage of the cellular system now increase the capacity reduce the power use and better coverage these are three main advantages or these three the main uh, features of the cellular system clear now increase the capacity that means increase the you can range of the your communication channel is communication system reduce the power use because this is the main factor why i reduce the power use means suppose you want to transmit signals in a wide range right now wide range so that you you uh, use the much energy to throw that signals but when that range is divided into so, so small small cell or you can say small small range right now then what will happen now the you can use uh, the low uh, sorry you can use the low power to throw the energy to within that particular cell clean suppose you mounted uh, one antenna In, uh, in to communicate to all person of the bhuvneshwar suppose then there is only one mobile tower used for communication enter bhuvneshwar city then what will happen because bhuvneshwar city area is not a small area so you used much energy to throw the frequency for uh, to access the each corner of the city right now so that is the term of the power use so if that city is divided into the small small range then the each small range having some mobile phones so now each base station or antenna having a small range right now that means enter city is divided into the small small range and per each small range there is a antenna or there is a base station which is help to communicate to the person which are uh, placed within that region or within that range so in that type of architecture 
that uh, communication is better than one antenna mounted in all over the city that is the term of the reduce the that is the power use suppose you mounted one antenna in entire bhubaneswar city what will happen the persons which are near to antenna uh, then the lowest energy is required to throw the, uh, to handle that frequency but when, if you want to uh, the mobile companies want to send the signals to the each corner of the bhubaneswar city what will happen the much energy is required for the antenna to transmit that signals next is your better coverage right one antenna mounted in a city is uh, very hard to say that the each user get the uh, facility for this communication or get able to make the communication between each other but when the number of the antennas mounted on a city that means range is developed coverage area is also developed clear that is the factor it is a three factor into the capacity reduce the power use and the better coverage clear now now come to the sales that the number of the different types of sales are used in your cellular system first is your uh, on the base of the sales are base station transmitting over small geographic areas that are represented as hexagons right so hexagons are used but remember always uh, you can def- you cannot define the range of that hexagon sometimes the range will, uh, that means uh, for uh, you cannot say that suppose one city having the six hexagon and each hexagon all six hexagon uh, the radius of all six, six hexagons are same that is not dependent because range always dependent upon the environmental uh, changes that means suppose uh, one hexagon having less number of obstacles that means high building or more hill or mountain and uh, one hexagon having the much number of the buildings and uh, you can so say the hills area that is thing so you cannot define that by the range of that hexagon it depend upon if to fully the environmental situation clear na so after all the types of cells are there then this now the micro cells so fast cells next is your selective cell right this is the macro cells macro cells small small cells is the macro cells selective cell what is the selective cell now in a hexagon there is the one part is indicated it is a hexagon like the example the tunnel system when you are entering a tunnel system that means your range is the selective range right now because you are inside the tunnel so that means the frequency should communicate communicate in a particular range that means it's the selective range clear and this is the umbrella cell umbrella cell means this is the fully large umbrella cell for high speed uh, traffic small micro cells for low speed traffic right this is the umbrella that means when the range suppose the vehicles are present in the these small areas that means the micro cells areas then low speed uh, that means this is the st- uh, frequencies required low frequencies required but the people are present in this area that means the uh, the high uh, spread traffic area this been high frequencies required so this is the umbrella cell next come to the micro cell right now this is the micro cells clear the micro cells are divided so this is this is types of the cells used in your cellular system first is your micro where the each uh, within that cell the mobile system and the uh, your uh, mobile station is present here and is the macro base station macro base station is also the there selective cell and the umbrella cell umbrella cells means is that and the micro cell so that is uh, known as the type of the cells the entire cellular system is divided into number of the cells clear so that uh, cells is used to increase the uh, capacity of the transmitting and uh, minimize the interference also minimize the power use to transmit the data so these are the factors clear why you are dividing the entire uh, 
um, one CT into different different cell or small micro cells or micro cells that is the re um, reason right now clear okay